Can Uber drivers approach the labor court to institute legal action against the Uber application for unfair labor practices? That will depend on whether Uber drivers are independent contractors, or employees. Welcome back to the Jurisprudence Channel. The home for summarized case laws, legal procedures and definitions. The only fun and legally relevant channel in the country. If this is your first encounter, please subscribe, like and share. We will love to have you in our circle. After being deactivated from the Uber app, Seven Uber drivers referred an unfair dismissal dispute to the Commission for Conciliation, Mediation and Arbitration CCMA. This is an independent body whom employees can approach for assistance in resolving disputes within the workplace, in terms of rules governed by the Labor Relations Act LRA. In line with South African law, Section 213 of the LRA defines an employee as any person, excluding an independent contractor, who works for another person or for the state and who receives, or is entitled to receive remuneration, and or any other person who in any matter assists in carrying on, or conducting the business of an employer. In response to the dispute, the Uber SA objected to the CCMA's jurisdiction in dealing with unfair dismissals because the driver's respondents were not employees of Uber SA but rather independent contractors. In South Africa, a person who works for or renders services to any other person is presumed, until the contrary is proved, to be an employee regardless of the form of contract, if any one or more of the following factors are present. 1. The manner in which the person works is subject to the control or direction of another person. 2. The person's hours of work are subject to the control or direction of another person. 3. In the case of a person who works for an organization, the person is a part of that organization. 4. The person has worked for that other person for an average of at least 40 hours per month over the last three months. 5. The person is economically dependent on the other person for whom that person works or renders services. 6. The person is provided with tools of trade or work equipment by the other person. 7. The person only works for or renders services to one person. The commissioner, in light of the mentioned factors, held that Uber SA drivers are employees, under South African law. However, this arbitration award was reviewed and set aside in Uber South Africa Technology Services Pty, Limited vs National Union of Public Service and Allied Workers and others. Van Niekerk concluded that the commissioner committed a material error of law in not upholding Uber SA's jurisdictional challenge. Due to the fact that the drivers conceded that there was no contractual arrangement between them and Uber SA. He further held that the commissioner made a mistake by not appreciating the distinction between Uber BB and Uber SA as two different legal entities. He submitted that the commissioner was supposed to inquire into each entity's respective roles. There you have it. What do you think? Comment, tell us whether you think Uber drivers should be independent contractors or employees. Take care. This is the Jurisprudence Channel. Forever your law buddy, until the jury do us apart.